יריב מוזר, שלום again. שלום. And thank you for your patience with us uh, while we were replacing batteries. We are going back to your first documentary as an active soldier in a war. Yes. Um, so I, I told you it was a coincidence. I took uh, my home video camera and um, I asked the permission from my personal commander. He gave me permission. It was only that I promised to go to the IDF spokesman and to the censorship and to authorize the whole thing after the war. And in fact, the film was released a year and a half after the war, so it didn't have any um, crucial security impact, you know. Uh, so, but it was um, a film about my uh, own experience through my, my own eyes uh, of um, a soldier inside war. Um, and yeah, this was my first war. A very powerful documentary. Yes. Um, it traveled a lot also and it was uh, aired in um, many countries. Okay. And then came Noah and Mira. And then I was asked by, the, by Channel One, the Israeli Broadcasting Authority, to cover the story of uh, Noah and Mira Awad on their way to the Eurovision, the to the Eurovision uh, Song Contest. Uh, for the first time Israel decided to send um, a duet of uh, two women singers, but Arab and Israeli, which was a big thing. Um, because it raised a lot of uh, criticism from all sides of the Israeli political map. It was a bit controversial. It was controversial. A bit. And, yes. And, and Mira and Noah were really like true fighters. They are really admirable. Uh, two very uh, tough women that and I enjoy doing a film about. And also excellent musicians. Yes, Both excellent, of, them. of course. Yes. Yeah. So after uh, three documentaries, it's time to your first feature. Yeah, now I'm um, already completing my first feature film called Snails in the Rain. Mazal tov. Thank you. It has a connection to uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs because the film is based on a short story written by the Israeli ambassador in Belgrade, Yossi, Yossi Avni Levi. Levi. Yeah. Yes. And uh, it's uh, from uh, Yossi's first uh, book, Garden of uh, Dead Trees that was published uh, early 90s happening in Tel Aviv uh, we had to um, to make like the whole uh, film look like it was really in uh, early 90s okay no cellular phones no computers um, sounds difficult yeah um, so but this was uh, really an exciting thing and I've completed shooting half a year ago And I'm still uh, in the process of editing. editing? Yes. And uh, did you choose uh, actors and actresses that are already known? Or, uh... um, in fact, no. Uh, well, Yoav Rouveni is the leading actor and he's well known as a model. He's really an international model. You could find him um, in advertisements of Hugo Boss and Armani. And... Together with him, Moran Rosenblatt, that uh, was in Lipstika, uh, Jonathan Segel's uh, second film that was in, okay. in Berlin last year. Okay. And I'm also participating hey. this time, yeah, in front of the camera, hey. which is very exciting. And uh, yeah, it's S similar to Hitchcock appearances uh, for a very brief while or a serious part? A serious part. Wonderful. Yeah, uh, a supporting role, uh, which is very significant in the film. So I'm really curious to know how it will be uh, perceived by the audience. When will it be released? I assume that um, uh, early 2013, okay. something like this. Hey, we are looking forward to it. Yeah, thank you. And maybe one final question, since you've been so generous with your time and we know you are a very busy man. When you look around you at what's happening, what has been happening for the last decade, Uh, with Israeli film and its place in the world. How would you describe it? I think that the success of Israeli cinema is a combination of uh, two main things. The, um, the first one is really uh, a community of very creative people that are uh, dedicated to the art of cinema and um, are really collaborative and 
so it's one part is the creative people and in the other part it's the way the country supports the film industry first of all in money but in the, the second thing which I see is the more, most important thing that it gives us the freedom to express ourselves and sometimes the film community is really very um, criticized critical. Uh, critical about the Israeli policy so and the way Israel is giving us the, the creative community the way to express ourselves in such a freedom is I think one of the reasons of the success of the Israeli cinema so wonderful thing creativity wonderful thing democracy yeah exactly Yariv Mazer I want to wish you All the best. Thank you. And keep up uh, producing these wonderful films. Thank you very much. Toda Shalom, shalom.